Amanda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's wedding season. And unfortunately, I have known some friends and family whose weddings had to be postponed due to COVID. But summertime is definitely the start of wedding season. And Jeannie over at Get This Glowing thought it would be fun to share with you guys our top five wedding palettes. And I'm super excited she invited me, Becca's beauty channel and Joy's Beauty Johns to give you guys 20 different eyeshadow palettes in case if you are a bridesmaid or a soon to be bride and you're looking for some wedding inspiration makeup. Everyone's videos will be linked in the description box to see what their choices are. And if you're visiting from any of their channels, welcome. Thanks so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. So the first palette I'm gonna mention, I actually used for my wedding. It's the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. I absolutely love this palette. I don't use it nearly as much, but this eyeshadow palette created such a beautiful eye look that lasted all day and night of my wedding. We had a lot going on. Everyone getting their hair and makeup done, to the ceremony, to the family and bridal party pictures, to the reception, to riding in a limo down to McDonald's, getting some food afterwards. It was definitely a grand time. I definitely focus on the more neutral part of this palette. I am pretty sure I took like this shade in the crease and then that to deepen it a little bit. And then this shade right here in the outer V for some dimension. And then I took this shade right here all over the lid. I didn't smoke out my lower lash line or inner corner highlight. That was just something I wasn't doing at the time. So I did do my own makeup. Up. I did some wing eyeliner, which is the last time I've done wing eyeliner, and it lasted pretty well for 12 plus hours. I just feel like this palette has a lot to offer for wedding looks, whether you're gonna go more neutral like I did, if you wanna go a little bit warmer, if you're feeling a little bit more bold, add some pops of color, or a smoky eye. It was very hard for me to choose which palette I wanted to use for my wedding, because I almost chose an Urban Decay Naked palette, because I used the Naked 3 for a wedding that I was previously in. The Chocolate Bar palette is an all-time favorite of my palettes too. This palette was pretty much the It palette at that time. Plus, Griffin did gift this for me earlier on that year. So might as well use the palette that the soon-to-be hubby, well, now hubby, <laughs> gifted me. For palette number two, I feel like I haven't talked about this palette in a hot minute, and it's one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time. Naked Honey! For a while there, I was using this non-stop. But man, what a great excuse to bring this back out and to feature it in for bridal makeup. I feel like gold and coppers are very common, like, wedding eye looks, at least from what I saw when I would go to like bridal showcases or have like a makeup consultation on me. And it's just so beautiful. This palette blends out so nice. The shimmers are very popping. I feel like the shade Hibic would be the most ideal shade on the lids. These shades right here, beautiful neutral copper look if you want a little bit more gold right here. Aside from the palette that I used in my wedding, this was the palette that came to my mind. There have been two of my sorority sisters that have recently messaged me for their wedding invites. I automatically thought of this palette for them to use for their upcoming weddings. I think that they would look absolutely beautiful with this. Palette number three is a lot more warmer and I chose out the Nubian by Juvia's. I feel like this palette, it would be so beautiful for the fall weddings, especially with the leaves changing. I don't know, part of me feels like a little bit biased because I chose the palette for my wedding thinking of palettes for my sorority sisters, and I also got married in the fall. Plus, these are all formulas that I really do enjoy. Although this palette is still fairly on the more neutral side, I feel like you can still get like a more bolder look if that was something that you're going for. This paired with like a nice vampy red. Juvia's formula is so good. You can build it up to your liking. You can definitely go in light-handed for like a nice neutral look, or you can definitely just build, build, build for a nice vampy, seductive makeup look. I had to throw a cool tone palette in here. I feel like if it's not going to be on like the brown, gold, or warm side, then you're probably going to go more cool. I don't know. I feel like cool tones are maybe a little bit more popular for wedding makeup. And I had to choose out my favorite cool palette, which is the Fame palette from ColourPop. And for me not being as much of a cool tone person, I get a lot of use out of this palette. I feel like this palette will make it look like you don't really have much on your eyes, but enough to bring it out. Like if you're going for a more natural look and you don't wanna do like a lot of makeup, this cool tone palette might be good for that. Like this shade, Dazzle, is stunning 
all over the lid. Just add like a little bit of a crease shade, maybe the really add some eyeliner and then like a bold red lip like this. Oh, that would be a gorgeous wedding look right there. Not that I'm a wedding makeup artist by all means. This is something I'm just envisioning in my mind that I think would look good for a wedding. Let me know in the comments below what your ideal wedding look would be or utilize these bottom two rows to have like a beautiful bold smoky eye and then like your bridesmaids can have like a really like subtle look right there just to have like both spectrums. I don't know. I'm not in a wedding anytime soon. This is just the creative juices going. Plus ColourPop's formula is really really nice and very easy to work with. It's also most affordable because I know like when you think of a wedding budget, at least for my wedding budget, I knew I wanted to do my own makeup. Not to like be conceited or anything but I know how I like my makeup and maybe some people are just trying to save coins here and there because weddings are expensive. They are not cheap. I feel like this would be a really good option just to do a really subtle eye look and I feel like your bridesmaids even if they don't play with makeup that often I feel like they can still create some really pretty looks using this palette. Palette number five, Norvina. Now I almost chose Sultry but since I already did choose a more cool tone palette I wanted to choose a different ABH palette. This one also adds a little bit more bold because it has more purples and pinks to it which I still think are very like flirty colors especially for like a wedding. I feel like pink is a very common color for weddings so I feel like if you really wanted to color coordinate everything you got your pinks right there. I guess I could have color coordinated with the purple since one of my colors was purple or if you just wanted to do like a pop of color instead of like just like an all neutral look you can still achieve your all neutral look and then just put like a little bit of purple on your lower lash inner corner wherever it may be. Plus these shimmers are some of my absolute favorites. I think they would look absolutely beaming on your eyelids. Rose gold would be stunning on a bride. But out of these five palettes, it's really hard for me to choose like, this is the one you have to use for your wedding because naturally I want to say the Jaclyn Hill palette, but the formula has since then changed. It's going to be more like her volume two, which I found a lot drier, which this one feels a lot softer and creamier, really easy to blend. I did run into some troubles with two. I would definitely check out Jen Love's reviews comparison on the OG one like I have versus like the newly formulated ones that are out now. This palette I don't think I'll ever get rid of because it does remind me of my wedding day. But from there it's really hard to choose like which one would be the best one and it goes back to preference. Like if you're more of a cool tone girl, go for this. If you're more of a warm, go for this. If you're more of a bold, go for this. For vow renewals, I'll probably go for this. Definitely on the more affordable side would be these two palettes. I think they both retail for $20. These two palettes are the price of this one. That way you can have options of warm and cool. But I think if makeup really wasn't really in your wedding budget, these two palettes would be really good because they are affordable. The quality is really good. And even if you're not that experienced with makeup, I feel like these two palettes blend out really nice that you and your bridesmaids, even your family or anyone else in the wedding party would be able to utilize these as well. Just putting either a shimmer all over your lid or adding a little bit of a transition shade and then a shimmer on the lid. But if you did want to splurge because it is your wedding day. I would probably choose one of these two palettes. If it's not Norvina, go with Sultry. Sultry is like a nice cool tone sister to the Fame palette. How could you not resist rose gold all over your lid? But then again, I feel like this right here, beautiful neutral look as well. I don't think you can go wrong with either five palettes or if you're going to be in someone else's wedding. I feel like these all have a nice quality that will last throughout the entire night. I know the Jaclyn Hill one did for me and I was a mess after the wedding. My hair was frizzing really bad. Foundation was still good. I think it was just like a little bit cakey around here. The lipstick could have been better. I would love to know if you got married, what palette did you use for your wedding or if you're a bride to be or if you're going to be in an upcoming wedding, what palette do you plan on using? And I hope my suggestions as well as everyone else's in this videos are super helpful. I know I'm very curious to see what everyone else chose. I hope we all chose something different. That way there are 20 different options. But if we do have a couple of repeats, great minds think alike and maybe use it for your wedding. Plus I love to see what everyone's thought process is. I know I was thinking of some of my friends in mind who are getting married soon, have looks I could easily think of on them. And maybe I will just go send them a little message after this to tell them, hey, watch this video, get this palette for your wedding. Don't forget to check out everyone else's videos. They will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you know, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.